This is a HTC uh, USB uh, pair adapter, uh, sourced from Klaus Olsen. Let's get rid of that. And this is an absolutely normal uh, 5 volt, uh, properly certified non-Chinese uh, power adapter, which came out of the trash. Uh, it's currently working just fine, putting out 5 point something volts, but uh, I figured it ended up in the trash for some reason, and uh, I have no idea about what the build quality of these might be. Uh, they're relatively expensive, one of these goes for about 20 euros, and I know because I've actually purchased one uh, some time ago. Uh, and I, since I've got this free one, I figured it would be quite interesting to see what they're like on the inside, if I made a good decision to spend those 20 euros or not. Uh, so I think it's ultrasonically welded. I don't think we're going to be getting inside <coughs> through any uh, nice routes. So uh, that didn't take too much bashing. So let's see what we've got. Oh, that's that's a lot of stuff actually. So the first thing that strikes me upon opening this is the giant Delta logo, which is a certain sign of a high quality paint supply. So HTC has obviously outsourced that to a proper manufacturer. So the brains behind the operation seems to be this uh, ST branded ADAP021 switching IC, which is uh, rather elusive as I can't really seem to find any uh, useful data sheet for it anywhere. Uh, but uh, rest assured, it's, it's going to be a relatively high-end IC, given the rest of the build quality of this paint supply. So we've got uh, two primary side caps, which are separated by a choke to filter, up, uh, filter noise out of the paint supply and from out of the grid as well, which is unusual and very nice to see. And at uh, two times 4.7 microfarads, this thing has a lot of primary side capacitance. Uh, and uh, what's even more impressive is on the secondary side, and we've actually got a solid state capacitor, which is, well, I've never seen that in one of these little USB power supplies, actually. That is very, very impressive. Uh, the transformer is a very cool looking jobby, because if we flip this around, you can see that we've actually got a plastic isolation enforcing thingy built right into the transformer. And the isolation, while it looks a bit crowded, is excellent, we've got an optic couple of there, big hole for the plastic thing in the PCB, and uh, we seem to be having some kind of high resistance uh, resistor ladder going from the primary side to the secondary side. That's going to be all legal and within spec and fine. Uh, the USB plug is also one of these uh, nice uh, kinds which has actually leads uh, uh, in the plug end action end of a plug as well, so to speak. So it's a four. A ground prong USB plug, which is going to be very sturdy and nice. Uh, the PCB is plated through, which is excellent. And uh, on the primary side, we've also got a fuse, and uh, I would wager that a serious resistor with everything. And all in all, this is just an excellent looking power supply. I am absolutely astounded. So. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Uh, one criticism, these caps on this cap is not tied down. I'm going to tie that down just to give it a bit of extra uh, mechanical rigidity because uh, that's not good. That's a 400 volt rated primary side cap. But yeah, excellent quality power supply. If you find one of these, uh, what's the model number? TC E250. It's uh, 5 volts, 1 amp rated, not one of us high current jobbies, but uh, a little tiny one. Keep it. This thing is certainly worth uh, having around. This is the highest quality USB power supply I've ever seen. There you go. Thank you for watching. Cheerio.